som får det mamma. Inte sen. How much is how much is pork a kilo today? Oh, that's one man. Two fifty a kilo. Pork bones is two fifty. Pork meat is two ninety a kilo. And she got Miles got three kilos. That's why I said three. Yeah, they got wheat bread here. dogs What next? No more? No more? I will put in there. Okay.
vegetable is so killing me the price. What's that? The, the vegetable. What about it, it? It kills me the price. Oh, the price is going up on vegetables? Ah. You know, in Cagayan, the the one kilo of eggplant is 15 pesos. Here is 50. Uh. Well, we just got back from the, the market. Very uneventful. Nothing to write home to mom about. Miles got her usual vegetables, string beans, peppers, onions. She got a pack of hot dogs. The beef hot dogs, not them red nasty things. She got some chicken. How much kilos of chicken did you get? That is two, two kilos. Kilos of various parts of the chicken. And these dogs are so damn spoiled. She got three kilos of pork meat for the dogs. You, you, you spoil the hell you spoil the hell out of these dogs, man. Huh? You spoil these dogs. <laughs> We both, we both spoil them. And you want to know something? That's the way we roll. Right, Ma? That's how we do things. Our house, our rolls. Other than that, right now there ain't nothing going on. I have learned it from the past. When Miles is in here in the kitchen taking care of all this stuff, I stay the hell away. Right, Miles? She says, I got a system. Don't throw a rag into the gears. Oh, yeah. yeah, these hot dogs are pretty good, man. These beef hot dogs. Mm. Classic. Yeah, but it's... Well, because... <laughs> see, the, the, the cheap red ones, everybody buys them, so the, the, you know that's why they're cheap. But the ones like the beef hot dogs, they're a little bit more expensive, but you want to know something at the end of the day? I'm not going to be miserable. I'm not going to eat nasty garbage. And that's why I get the beef hot dogs. I don't care what anybody says. Those red, red hot dogs are nasty. They're nasty. Nasty. Even Miles says they're nasty. Right, Miles? Huh? I really don't like hot dogs. Yeah, I won't eat them. All right, so I'm going to leave Miles alone so she doesn't yell at me or throw any knives or anything at me. And I will talk to you all later. Hey, check this out, man. England has come to the Philippines. Hold on a second. I locked the door and I forgot I locked it. Yeah, we keep the screen door locked. Yeah, England has come to the Philippines. <laughs> I can't wait till this wet season is over and done with. I know it's the cycle of the weather, weather, weather systems here, but I'd rather see sun. But like I said, man, when it doesn't rain after a while, I bitch about that. So, what can you do? I was talking about the weather. I said England has come to the Philippines. What are you talking about? Oh, another typhoon, huh? So, normally, because of our mountain, I met the, the mountain range we have to the east, east of us, yeah. that kind of blocks everything. Now, yeah, we get the rain and the you know the winds not as high as they would be, but we get the winds. Me and Miles are having a little debate, not a debate, a conversation that I am perfectly happy of making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch. That's just the way I roll, okay? Mrs. Chef Miles here gets all upset with me if I tell her, hey, I'm just going for lunch, I'm just going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm grateful. Miles is an outstanding cook. But sometimes I just want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 
Yeah, you I know it sounds ridiculous, but... You always eat bread. Mm. Yeah, I do. Oh, man, guess what I found out? Oh, I seen today at the market, and I didn't grab it because I didn't know. And Miles likes it, too. The chicken lady sells wheat bread. Well, you all see the, well, you'll see it on this video. Not only it, I can see, I always uh, see it in, in Yellow House. I have never seen wheat bread in the old house. Yeah, yeah. Now, if some of these bakeries around here sold wheat bread, I'll be in. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these bakeries here make their own. Make their own bread. If they made wheat bread, my life would be good. I like wheat bread, man. I'd rather eat wheat bread than uh, white. What? Yeah. yeah. But I never had wheat bread with peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Okay. No, man. I know you're all thinking, what is up with this dude in the peanut butter and jelly? It just, it's a comfort food for me. Growing up as a kid, you know, yeah, just like just like meatloaf and mashed potatoes, and, you know, stuff like that. Well, I put peanut butter and jelly in that same category. It's a comfort food. It reminds me of the, the States. Way, the way uh, you do is... The, the wheat bread with, with peanut butter already after tossing you can smell the, the yeah, peanut yeah. and then put some jelly on top I guess I never tried it that yeah. but hey I, I'm open I'm open yeah I, I'm, I'm open for it but you couldn't toast it what do you mean toast the bread if it comes out of the toaster you spread it with peanut butter and jelly no, it's much better you you toast it with peanut butter, peanut butter. But that our toaster is not, not uh, cannot toast with peanut butter. No, you can't no toast well a toaster oven can, but a regular toaster, no, you can't. You can't put anything it's just dry bread that you can only put in there. You can't add any toppings or yeah. <laughs> toppings on it because then you're gonna create a problem there. But uh yeah, just like uh, you, you, you toast, you toast some bread. There's a girl. Her name is Shaw. I don't know if she, me and her dated many, many years ago when I was in high school. But well, anyway, she would take toast. I know it sounds like it, it, it kind of like blew my mind because I was like, wow, when I was that young. She'll take bread, toast it, and after the toast is done, she puts butter on it. It puts cheese, and then you know what I mean, and it tastes like a grilled, freaking grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> what? Grilled cheese sandwich, man. Grilled cheese sandwich with tomatoes. Ooh. So you're gonna make some Shanghai? Mm -hmm. Yes. See, Miles, man, and <laughs> she is so worried that my family back in the States will think that Miles doesn't, isn't taking care of me as far as feeding me and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But my family knows who, how I am. If I had to, I'll go, I could do, I can cook on my own if I had to, okay, if I had to. I can cook on my own. Yes, I'm very grateful for Miles, okay? I'm not trying to go there, but that's her main concern. I don't want your family thinking that I'm neglecting you. Is that all right, Miles? You know, she's keeping quiet. Is that all right, Miles? <laughs> I said yes. They can't hear you. Mm -hmm. But look at me. Do I look like I'm, st I'm, I'm freaking starving? Please. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to lose weight because I know it's unhealthy. I'm telling you, man, I don't know how much, when I was driving the truck, I don't know how much weight, weight I gained. I'm gonna be, I mean, my weight, my healthy weight for me, was a hundred and between 150 to 160 pounds. I ain't gonna tell y'all how much I how how much weight I gained when I was driving a truck. I'm embarrassed, man. I'll just say I was a I was a fat ass. That's all I'm gonna say. I was a fat ass. Right, Miles? <laughs> hey. First step in losing weight is recognizing that you need to lose weight. These people that walk around and say that, you know, they're on a diet, but every time you see them, they're putting something in their mouth. 
you know, and, and you come to the conclusion to force shit. But that's just it, you know. You got to recognize I need to lose weight, and I had to do something about it because nobody's going to do it for me. That is their problem if they don't. Well, I know it's their problem. If they are, they are. It's useless they're uh, saying, oh, I, I'm dying. But, but if they come out in public and sit there and play the victim because, you know, I'm trying to lose weight, but then you see evidence that, no, you're not. You're stuffing your face every time you turn around. You know? I don't feel sorry for that kind of people. Yeah, some people have a hard time losing weight. At, at one time in my life, man, I lose weight like that. Now it's like, you know, but I also start to think that the more, you, the, less you, the less you worry about it, you'll lose weight. Because I didn't worry about it before. And yes, I was a younger lad, but, and I was more active and I was, you know, working out all the time and so I was very physical, you know? Now I think the only real physical thing we do is go for walks. And that's only a mile and a half a day when we go. And no, I'm not blaming you, Miles, so don't make it look, don't try to play the victim. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking shit with her, she's got a knife in her hand. That's, that's a real good move on my part, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, so Miles will make some Shanghai. So I'll let you go for now, and I'll let you see the whole oh, Shanghai are really good. But uh, I'll let you see them, then I'll probably end, then I'll probably bag out. So I'll talk to you all later. Hmm, bye for now. Well, the heavy rains have come to Badak, uh, Badak Miles. Yeah. Yeah, they're saying there's a... Where's, where's that typhoon at? typhoon is over the Van Valley. Yeah, the rains have come. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah. You do have a point there. It's not really that bad though. They say what? It's in line with your your hometown? Which what's your hometown? Oh, yeah. Oh, the Psalm, right? I know, but the yeah. reference point, people know what you're talking about. I need to teach you so much, Miles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we haven't done anything, man. I'm going to be honest, it's raining out. Mimi won't eat her Shanghai. Monkey, he likes them, but he's got his own reserve. <laughs> right, Mark? They are... Right, buddy? The full? The full? Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna take that. What is that? Oh, that's the... That's what's left of we had a couple nights ago. The rice and chicken. Chicken and rice. Yeah, I know you're hungry. Usually when you're hung hungry, you eat. You're not starving, you're hungry. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just, we've been chilling out, man. And it's just... Uh, I'll put it on this side so we know. Don't touch that one. So, no plans for the later on this afternoon? No. None? Yeah, I don't blame you. It's just gonna rain all, they say it's supposed to rain. They say it's supposed to rain all the way up until five or six o'clock tonight. What? Yeah, probably on and off, but it's gonna be raining. So I'll go ahead and close this video out for the day, man. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Remember, stay happy. Bye for now. Nope.